Iran has developed a new space rocket, besides inaugurating a mass production line for advanced shoulder-fired missiles. New composite solid fuel plants capable of supplying fuel to all ground combat missiles has also been set up. The shoulder-fired missiles are one of the most sophisticated and effective weapons against the enemy's forces and low-altitude targets. They are equal to the most modern shoulder-fired missiles in the world in terms of technology and tactical capability, and are even superior to foreign models in some components, Iranian Defense Minister Brigadier General Amir Hatami was quoted as saying by government-owned press. Only three or four countries in the world can produce such a weapon, but today, the Islamic Republic has fully acquired this technology, and all its parts are fully produced and produced in high circulation and have been repeatedly hot tested in various scenes that can be used in low to medium altitude air defense chiefs of staff of the Iranian Armed Forces, Major General Mohammad Bakari said. Pointing to the opening of composite solid fuel production plants, Hatami said the plant was built to supply solid fuel to all surface-to-air missiles. Adding that combined solid fuel can effectively increase low-altitude air defense, owing to its higher energy, range and speed of surface-to-surface -surface missiles and air defense. Meanwhile on Monday Iran tested a new 84-foot three-stage rocket dubbed Zuljana. It has a solid fuel engine in its first and second stages, and a liquid fuel engine in its third stage. The rocket can loft a 227 kg payload as high as 500 km, according to the Iranian government. It is adequate to place a satellite in low Earth orbit. Solid fuel propelled motors are generally used in intercontinental ballistic missiles, which the US does not want Iran to produce. If you bent the Zuljana's trajectory, aiming for distance rather than height, you could carry a one-ton warhead as far as 4,900 kilometers, Jeffrey Lewis, an arms control expert at the Middlebury Institute of International Studies in California. The Javelin is a manportable anti-tank system developed for the U.S. Army and U.S. Marine Corps, USMC. Highly lethal against tanks with conventional and reactive armor, Javelin will provide a medium anti-tank capability to the infantry, scouts, and combat engineers. A simple-to-operate, economically maintained, rugged and reliable infantry system, Javelin has two major components. A reusable command launch unit, clue, and a missile sealed in a disposable launch tube assembly. The clue incorporates an integrated day-night sight and provides target engagement capability in adverse weather and countermeasure environments. The launch unit also may be used in the standalone mode for battlefield surveillance and target detection. For operation of the system, the round must be mated with the clue. The missile, with a warhead designed to defeat both conventional and reactive armor, may be used at the gunner's discretion in top attack or direct fire mode. Top attack is the normal mode of operation, while direct fire is for engaging targets under cover. The key feature of the Javelin is the use of fire and forget technology that allows the gunner to fire and immediately take cover. Additional special features are the advanced tandem warhead, imaging infrared seeker, target lock on before launch, and soft launch, the Javelin can be fired safely from enclosures and covered fighting positions. Javelin is designed to replace the Dragon. 